think it's November 16th. Your birthday was November 15th. No. Yeah. 15. November 15th, 1985. Yeah. And Wes was 92 years old then. You're getting something out of your wallet to tell me? I'll show you the worst again. Oh. Card. Okay, here it is. We got one for my sister too. We got ten dollars. You did? Yeah. Oh, for a case of beer. <laughs> that was thoughtful. Oh, you can get them anyway. That's thoughtful. Yeah. It's something to drink. Yeah, or yeah. smoke. Yeah. Well, I get them smokes. Yeah. We look at that stuff and see what's in it. Let's see, we're looking at Wes's wallet here. Wes's wallet. 23rd November. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. It's nothing really. Here's a traffic ticket you never paid. Mm -hmm. There's a traffic ticket in here you never paid. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you believe that, Agnes? I'm just kidding you, Wes. <laughs> yes, and you've been haggled and at it, taking the corners out. I never took nothing out of it. <laughs> w. W. Hmm? w. W. Young. Wes Young. You're a blaster. Yeah. You're a certified blaster. Yeah. You're a blaster. Yeah. Maybe we can use you one of these days, okay? We'll need to pass that. For the Fish and Game Club, we're thinking of doing a little moving of rocks. Mm -hmm. Not your birth certificate isn't in here. Isn't it, isn't it there? No. Oh yes it is. Yes it is. That's it. Province of New Brunswick? You were born in New Brunswick? Yeah. Okay. And so that means birthday, twenty the fifteenth of November eighteen ninety three. Eighteen ninety three. Amazing. What part of uh, New Brunswick were you born in? I was born, I guess, I guess maybe I was born in the city of Fredericton. I don't know now because we lived out and, and my people were all pioneer stock, you know, in that country. My people come from this country up there, oh Lord, over 400 years ago. From what country? Hmm? From what country? From Ireland, the only country that's worth a damn. <laughs> I knew I'd get a rise out of Magnus. Yeah. I thought I was going to say Spain or something like that. Hmm? <laughs> I was going to say Spain or something. <laughs> get a rise out of it. So you think Ireland's the only country, huh? Yeah. Hey, did you hear what's happened in Ireland? Mm -hmm. so there was news on the newscast the other night. Yeah. They've, uh, the uh, country of Ireland and Northern Ireland yeah. now are closer than ever together. They're under rule of Ireland. I think there's going to be a little static there, don't you? Oh, I don't know. Lord. Yeah. Oh, the, the Irish, they'll make it. The rest of the rest of them Mm-hmm. What brand of tobacco is your favorite? Oh, I don't know. I just smoke. You just smoke whatever they give you, huh? Yeah. Oh. How many hundred thousand of these wooden matches have you gone through? These Eddie lights.
That stuff looks like it's been burned already. <laughs> yeah, it gets me dry too. Yeah. I don't smoke great lot. You know, unless you don't smoke a hell of a lot of tobacco, I'm always fed in a little pipe or something. You could have something to fed it with. You, know. you do? Yeah. Oh. Like what? I have a pipe, dig it out, fill it up, and take it apart, run the cleaner through it. Mm -hmm. You've got lots to do. Yeah, yeah. To keep a pipe going, <laughs> it's like a stove, right? Yeah. you got to keep fueling it. In your case, it's tobacco. In my case, I'm putting wood in. Mm -hmm. I've got a wooden stove. Yeah. You you must have had a wooden stove at one time. Oh, God. <laughs> wooden coal stove. Wooden coal, huh? Where'd you get the Blakeburn coal? No, Burr's coal. Burr's coal. Oh. Yeah, we used to get it from the prairies, too. Uh, Burr's coal had a lot of rocks in it. Uh huh. Did you ever cut firewood? Yes, you bet I have. I cut pulp too. You cut pulp too, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I'll put that together. Oh, you show it in there. You need a new wallet, Wes. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody will give you one for your birthday. I made that one for you. Did you make this, Agnes? Yeah, I made oh. Yeah? It's held up. You're a lot of wear. Yeah. Only trouble, there's no money in it. <laughs> That's what gets the batter with the mom. <laughs> Did, was there money in it when she gave you the wallet? Yeah, Agnes, I think did you put so. a five dollar bill in there when you gave him the wallet? No, I just gave him the wallet and he had a five dollar bill in there, but he spent it when he went up to see our dog at the vet. Oh. He spent it on taxi cab. Oh yeah. Oh, that's right. So now you got a dollar left. Well, you're not broke. <laughs> He's not broke, Agnes. Did you enjoy cutting wood? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy cutting wood? Did you enjoy wood cutting? Oh, well, I, just, I don't know what I did. I worked hard on construction most of the time. Mm -hmm. Climbing these dam buildings, you know, putting roofs on them, and building them right to the ground. Brother and I worked together, Mac. And if you want, want the history of the young brothers when they crossed Canada, that was Mac and I. If you get in there and get the back of your back or he, Went back over to the manager of the bank up there. Who, what was yeah. his name? Hmm? What's his name? He's dead now. Oh. Maxwell Young. Maxwell Young? Oh, yeah. My brother, he did it. Oh. Huh. We come in here. We left the prairie. We went to the prairie for the harvest. And I went. In there, and I bought a chef car. A chef. Twenty-four chef. Four. Twenty-four, yeah. Four, four, four cylinder, cylinder, yeah. And you should have bought a Ford. Hmm? You should have bought a Ford. I had had two or three Fords. My dad is a chef man. Hmm? My dad is a Chevrolet man. He likes uh, General Motors. And, and I like Fords. <laughs> <laughs> we got a little rivalry, Agnes. Yeah. Well, anyway. We got, we started for Vancouver. And by golly, of course, the highway down the valley there, mm -hmm. then it was just a tote road with horse and sleighs on it all. And, I forget what his name was now. And he put this road through here and called stuff from Nova Scotia up to a factory up here someplace. So that's oh, yeah. what they were doing at I come in here. Oh, yeah. And what kind of a factory? Hmm? What kind of a factory? 
there. What did they make at the factory, do you think? Okay, no, they're getting all their, getting a lot of their, well, that wasn't the ore, but it was the material down there, just the other side of Cheremias, that white bank that's in there, that's oh, where yeah, they yeah. was taking that yeah, yeah, yeah. chalk out of. Yeah, that chalk. It, you yeah. know, whatever they call it, it, it wasn't, they just had it here. What? Limestone? Hmm? Was it limestone? Well, no, it was kind of a white clay. What the hell did they call it? Well, I got some great stuff, too, for what, what they were doing. Oh, yeah. Mm. So they hauled it all the way to Nova Scotia? Yeah. Or do you remember? No, but the, 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 they was... Uh, Nova Scotia was producing, getting this iron, and where in the hell they was getting it from? They was bringing it in through here too to this factory. Right, right up here. Yeah, yeah. But there wasn't very much uh, in Princeton. I drove the first car ever driven into the mountain. That chef? Was it the chef? The chef, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was going to ask you, Wes, I just got through the deer hunting season. Mm -hmm. The deer hunting season closed last Saturday here. Did you get a deer? And I didn't get a deer. Now, what did I do wrong? Well, what did you do? Yeah, I didn't get a deer. Mm -hmm. I didn't find a deer. You didn't? No. Huh. Damn poor hunter. <laughs> I figured I'd get that, Agnes. There's nothing there. There's nothing what there. would you do? You used to hunt deer, didn't you? Yeah. Okay. What did you use for a rifle? Hmm? What kind of a rifle? Oh, I had several kinds of rifles. The last rifle I had, where the hell is it now? What, what did they do with it? It was a 6.5. Oh, it was. Yeah. He gave his rifle to Linda. Hmm? He gave his rifle to Linda. Yeah, I gave his rifle to Linda. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A Mauser. Hmm? A Mauser? Was it a Mauser? Mm hmm. Don't see that. No, it doesn't sound right, huh? Now. What was your strategy when you hunt uh, hunt hmm? mule deer? When you hunt mule deer, what did you do? Go high? Well, any, you look time, up high? any time I went out hunting, you know, I went out to get meat, I had to eat. Well, sure, yeah. Yeah. So you weren't looking for trophies? No, I didn't I never believe in that. Yeah. Showing them beautiful animals just for the head. Mm -hmm. Hang it up, but I could never could see you guys. Mm -hmm. You look for a young spike or a fork, huh? Mm -hmm. Did you look for a the young spike, spike or a fork spike, yeah. for the meat, for the it, good meat? And then they were, they were really good meat. Yeah, yeah. But oh, I don't know. It's lots better when I come in here in 1919 than it is now. Mm -hmm. You know, as a country like we were. Mm -hmm. What, uh, more deer? Were they in herds like? Did you see them no. in herds? They weren't in herds. No. Oh. We're just scattered around one here and there. Oh, yeah. Because uh, somebody told me when I came here that uh, they used to hunt and they'd see them in herds and pick them out. Which well, one they want? Sometimes want. they go in herds. Yeah. Sometimes they put. But uh, and we when we got in here, this is the funny part of getting in here. And I got we got snowed in with this damn car, and we had to stay here. We was on our way to Vancouver. <laughs> and you were marooned. And when we got down there, and the lady still living. Mrs. Angstead. Mrs. Angstead. Yeah, yeah, you told me about Mrs. I have to go this way, but there was no road along here. You went up and come down and to do the move Mill out there on the one mile road, and then you went to where he was hauling it up at the station. You went up there and got on the road, and they would allow you 
to cross that bridge there, the railroad company, who you could do, they let you bring your car across that at a certain time of day. They notice there telling you when you go where the trains were and all that stuff. You went bump, 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 bump over the rails? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were you high enough off the ground with those old cars so you missed the... Yeah. yeah. And Mac and I, and we went out cutting piling for parenting so on the other side. Hmm. It was 75 cents a piece, 90 foot piling. Oh. And the funny thing when we went out there, you know, they went into the camp out there, Jordan. We had a big camp there in Broderick. And Mac and I, two little fellas, you know, went in and we had this saw and like, axe and stuff. This old fella in there, Johnson, his name was, he said, I wonder if them boys know what them tools for. <laughs> <laughs> and we forgot more about logging than he ever seen, because I was drug up from the east there, the logging camp. And damn it, they're still running the damned old mill back there. <laughs> so how did you make out at Broderick's Mill? Oh, up there, there was this. Big father, you know, he, I changed out that he was from Vancouver. He was a big logger man, you know. He was up there, and I forget now what his name was. But they thought he was the only person on earth that could cut a log, brought to them, you know. Well, he was cutting 7,000. Mac and I went out, and we cut over 12,000 every ship we was out, and they couldn't figure out how it was done. <laughs> and they go, oh gosh, they were jumping around there. So this guy came down, I think of his name a little while. He came down, he was a darn nice sort of good guy. Too. And he came down and he said to me, Can you find a saw? And I said, Well, I don't know what you'd call it, but you know, he could find a saw because my uncle was a big shot in the Simon Saw Company. And he, he told me what kind of a saw to buy and to get the best and everything, you see. And I mean, uh, he gave me a jointer, and I got the jointer out there someplace yet. And that he gave me, I guess, 60, 70 years ago. But anyway, we started in, and they, they were cutting 7,000. And this Johnson fellow, you know, he, he, he just thought, you know, that, Small fellers like we couldn't do nothing, you know. <laughs> and he, so we we started falling by. So we, this big outfit up that he was blowing about that had the three saws, and we had one saw. And <laughs> he said, he said, yes. Johnson's father, they was, he was a good guy too, the old stinker from the party, you know, and he knew much about longer than nobody. <laughs> and the biggest thing he'd cut was some hay, huh? Hmm? Some hay or some uh, wheat. He'd cut hay or wheat before, huh? Hmm? From the prairie, all he knew how to cut was wheat or hay, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But we, but this, what, uh, what kind of Stuck in a car up there, you know. We went in these two boys, and these boys, and he said when we went in the big bunkers, we took the saw and stuff, axes in and threw them down on the floor and they stuff. Well, he said, I don't know. He said, I hope they know what they got there. <laughs> so we went out to these fellas up there, they were cutting 7,000 feet of ship, and we was cutting 12. And then he went pretty near plumb crazy, the old father. He couldn't figure that out. He yeah, can't yeah. see that. There was something wrong. And he left his horse in the road when we were falling, where we wanted to pull a tree, and he left the horse. And 
I asked him to move it and he wouldn't. His brother was there and I, I said, move that horse, I want to fall that tree up there. It's got to fall up there, please. He wouldn't. And I said to Mac, my brother, I said, I'll move him. Come on. So we didn't fall the tree out of but the brush hit him. And they just had to come into town to get the horse. It <laughs> ran all the way back to town. Yeah. Yeah. It took right off. Yeah. Left them. <laughs> <clears throat> and then this old Hank Fuller, they called him, he said, boys, oh boys, we've got a old sled going, he'd kill you just as quick as it did So you knew way, which way a tree was going to fall? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. We were I, I have some questions sometimes myself about that. <laughs> I haven't dropped that many trees. <laughs> hmm? I have some questions myself sometimes, which way a tree's going to yeah. go, especially if it's windy. Mm -hmm. If it's windy, you know? Yeah, well, you've been near the wind of any, any, any height at all, you've got to fall them with, with the wind. Oh, well, sure, yeah, right. Sometimes that's not in the best place, though. Well, that's true, too, but... You don't want to, you really don't want to fall on a windy day. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be falling trees on a windy day, right? Well, we averaged, Mark and I, we averaged over 12,000 feet a day out there. Mm -hmm. Two boys. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I sure didn't have a very good hunting season. Hmm? I had fun. I enjoyed hunting. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it in the woods, but the results weren't there. I didn't get a deer. Yeah, but they said this year, Wes, there were more big deer shot. Oh, great big mm -hmm. deer. Lots of big deer were taken this year. Yeah. Great big deer. They had come down, they had come down uh, across the Tulamine River and climbed up there where Mullins live. You know, up in that, the sand hill. You know where the sand hill is. They were over in there. Those That's things, big, I feel sorry for them. Yeah, it's good that not everybody hunts them, you know. Oh, it's not good for I didn't put any dent. Like, I've seen on the TV how, how the Americans come up here to Canada to hunt. Mm -hmm. Jesus, they all come, come, come up here in Canada to hunt, you know. Mm -hmm. And two of the hunters got killed. They did? I thought, good. What? They, they were shot. One oh, yeah. was shot in the head. I guess they thought they were shooting a deer. Oh. They shot huh. the two right. hunters right. got killed. Yeah. I thought, boy, serves you right for hunting a poor deer anyway. Yeah. Where did you get all the bricks, Agnes? No, from the roof. They, they, when they put the new roof on, they put a galvanized roof on oh, the house. Oh, oh, they I, took had it, I had it put on. They took the old chimney down? They took down. the old chimneys down. Oh, two yeah. Because oh. we never used them anyway. Yeah. What are you going to do with the bricks? Well, they're worth something. Do you want to sell them? Sure. Hmm. What do you want? I don't know how much they're worth. My daughter says that there was something she said. Huh. Yeah. Well, you think about it, maybe, and tell me sometime what you'd like. Have you got use for them? Well, I've gotten into masonry a little bit, done a little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might be interested in it. So. Well, I, I don't know how much there were. Yeah. There's two big piles there. Yeah, yeah, I see them. They're the old bricks. Yeah. When did they take them down, this fall? No, this, this spring. This spring, yeah. Do you like your other chimney better? Which other chimney? The, the new one that you I didn't put any new chimney up. We just got these things. Oh. Wall heaters. Oh, We've yeah. got one in the front room and one here. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. sufficient. Uh -huh. You feel warm enough, don't you? Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm quite this, comfortable. This thing, I haven't got the front room one on at all. Yeah. It runs on thermostat. When it gets cold, it turns on. Right, yeah. But it's not, not that cold. Mm -hmm. And this thing heats up the whole kitchen. Mm -hmm. Sure. It's clean. Oh, yeah, the gas nice. is clean. And wooden with Wes's wood. pipe there putting out heat? Oh, well, wooden Wes's coal, is, pipe. <laughs> wooden coal is so dirty. Yeah, yeah, it is. We yeah. had it down at the other house when we lived down there. and Smoked up the whole chest of the mm -hmm. Just smoked it all mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad we got these wall things. So you've put a few chunks of wood in the old uh, stove during your time. 
I sure have. <laughs> I used to cook by a wooden coal stove. You did? Oh, yeah. When I was first married. Did you enjoy that? Some people said that the bread they got out of those uh, old wood stoves, you know, mm -hmm. that was special. Oh, yeah, I guess it is, but I, I was glad to get rid of it and get the electric stove. Mm -hmm. Then we put in oil, mm -hmm. put it in oil heaters down mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And then when, when Dick Rogers, you know where he lives. Yeah, I know, yeah. We built that house. You did? Somebody just bought that from Dick. Did they? Yeah. Did he sell it? Yeah. A guy named Dar uh, I mean a gal named Darlene. Oh. Darlene. Hmm. Where is Dick going? I don't know. He had a good home there. That was a, a, a well-built house. You guys built the house, yeah. huh? Did you help nail it? Well, I I I helped with the with the the ranging of it, you know. Oh, the the design. The design of it. Yeah. And everything. Yeah. It was well. my idea in that. Right. He's got a beautiful sun porch there. Mm-hmm. Nice, lovely sun porch that he can And it's see. not far from the river. Who cares about the river? Oh, I like rivers. Oh, I think they're great. Flooded you can hear out. them at night. You it can flooded hear them at us night. out once. It did? One winter it flooded us out. The river. When it ice backed jam. Up. Oh, ice jam. Oh, yeah. oh, what year was that? Oh, day? I don't know what year it was. It was right in the winter time, too. Oh, boy. So you were out in the cold? No, we were out over to my sister's place. Oh, oh. We stayed there for about a couple of weeks. Oh, yeah. Did it flood the house inside? No, too? it flooded the basement. Oh, just the basement. Yeah. Good, good. Well, oh. I suppose you lost some canned goods and No, potatoes. I didn't. It didn't hurt the canned goods at all. It was floating around in the water, <laughs> but never hurt, hurt it. Is that right? Never. What about the potatoes? We didn't have the potatoes down in the cellar, oh, oh. that I know of. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were out of it. So you have no love for that river? Oh, I don't mind that river. It doesn't bother me, and it, it would never reach us up here yeah, or on the yeah, hill. Yeah, right, right. Mm -hmm. And the basement is good and dry down the downstairs. Mm -hmm. no, there's no water in it. That's good, yeah. yeah. I got my deep freeze down there. It better not get water in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Agnes, we'll <laughs> that's good. Well, I'm glad that we're up high. I like to go to sleep at night listening to water, though, you know, flowing water. Well, you can't hear it where you are. No, but you could over there, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Not much, though. It was pretty quiet, that river. Yeah. Have you been up to my house? Do you know where I live? No. Oh, yeah. Have you got one of those new houses up there? No. Mine was built by a guy by the name of John... Uh, no, not John... Do you know what Dick got for his house? Mm -hmm. I bet he got plenty. He sure bought it off the bus cheap enough. Mm -hmm. Forty-five hundred. That's See? all we got out oh, of it. Yeah, yeah. That's when the property was was cheap. Uh huh. Yeah. We sure didn't get much out of that house. Yeah. You had to sell it, huh? Didn't have to sell it, but we th we were moving to White Rock. Oh. Did you live in White Rock for a while? For nine months. He didn't like it. Oh. So you came back. You're in White Walk for a while. Yeah, now he said he wished he'd stayed there. Oh. We had a nice little house there. Mm hmm And Wes was able to build things then, you know. He was, wasn't was that old. He was handy. He, he was able to build. What, we could have built on the house, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Did you have a little land to go with your place down there? Oh, yeah, it was a big lot. Great, Great, Great big, big lot, lot, huh? Oh, a huge lot. Yeah. It would be worth plenty right now. Yeah. He built a, a garage on there, mm -hmm. but, uh, but a good-sized garage. Mm -hmm. He was going to build onto the house too, but he decided he didn't like it. Didn't yeah. like the rain. Yeah, I don't like that coast rain. That rain at the coast, <laughs> all winter long. Oh, no, you, you didn't mind it though, huh, Agnes? I didn't mind it so much. Yeah. I like quite well. But you know, it's pretty. This country when we come into it in 1919. Mm -hmm. This is a lovely country in here, you know. This was, you know, I don't know. You got a little level ground, you go out, you could grow any damn thing you throw into it. We should have stayed there because our daughter lives down there. Oh, yeah. Our daughter is there. We could have seen more of them, you know. Yeah, yeah. Than being away up here, they can't get up here that often. That's true. She's working. She's busy working. They never should have taken it from the Indians.
The building over here yet, I don't know, it stood there for a great many years. And he built it when he came from California there, he built this place for a shed to leave some of his rigging in it. He's going prospecting around here. Mm -hmm. So he went north. You know, he was lucky. He, he had a little pony with him, and that pony it packed packs, you see. And mm -hmm. he he went up through this country of Crown went went up north there. Yeah. And there was a big dredge in the river there. They, he went they, overland in other words. Yeah. He didn't and go up on the boats. No, he went right up through the damn country. Him and his little horse and wife and two kids. And he get up there and he went out, you know. Some people were just born lucky somehow. Mm -hmm. But here they were in the river with this big dredge, big company, and mm -hmm. digging in the river. And there was a flat place, and I can see it yet. Just, uh, you know, it's a big flat one out there. And he went, Uncle Bill, he took his shovel and pan went over there. And I gosh, right up on top, and it was rich as that. He sold it for a cool million dollars and was back home before it was snow flow <laughs> and made a million right? dollars yeah, right there. He didn't get stuck up there. Hmm? So many guys got stuck up there. Yeah. And had, you know, they got nothing out of it. Just Well, the great trouble was that it's just the same as anything else. There were so many people went in there and they didn't know how to shovel or do anything, you know. And that's what made that sound so tough up there. Mm -hmm. The north, I just leave, stay in the north as any place. When you gotta have cold, but yeah, you have to have the proper clothing, right? It's not any too warm outside. No, it's been a, it's minus three it's last I heard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, can you get back to those Indians though, a little bit, west? Can mm -hmm. you tell? Can you tell me anything about the Indians? Did you ever go hunting with the Indians? Indians? Yeah, you yeah, said you knew a lot of Indians. Did you go hunting with them? Yeah. Oh, can you tell me about some of that? Well, we just go out and hunt around a deer and kill it and bring it in. Did you ever prepare it like they did? Did you mm -hmm. ever make Did you ever make uh, dried meat out of it? Did you ever dry oh, it like sure that? Oh, sure, they dried it. Them Indians, but in here and right over the, right just in the next the hill over here. They had, a, and they had their horses was up on the range, you see, up there. With By the, the airport? airport? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And. They had, and I don't know what or how they'd done that or how, but they could smoke that meat or, well, it looked to me as if they would cook it, yeah. But it wasn't, but they would, and there'd be a, about that much thick meat, just like hide on yeah. it after they made it so yeah. they could put it in their packs and go, you know, and there was just it, this rind on it, or this, I think they called it. Yeah. You see from this smoke and whatever other jam stuff they brewed with. And that meat would keep and you should see them out there. They'd come along the quarter of me and they just throw it on the ground, start shoveling the gravel see you there. You'd come back out and pick it up, <coughs> cut a chunk off of them and grind the heater up and they were gone. They'd keep it in the gravel. Hmm? How would they keep it in the Show no, they just throw it down on the ground outside and could stay there and never seem to get rotten or fly go near it or anything. And I've wondered all my life what the hell they done to it or how to they make done it. do that, it. yeah, yeah. But they could do it. Even in hot weather? Hmm? Even yeah, in hot, hot weather? You tell me it was hot. Oh, yeah. Huh. Gee. I can see in the winter when it's frozen, you know. Mm -hmm. I could see in the winter if it was frozen. Yeah, but they, they could they could do it in the summer and keep their meat would keep in the summer. Mm -hmm. I'll hmm. never forget the good hamburger that we had uh, when Les LaValle and Laurie LaValle. Do you know them? Yes, I did know them. They Les, had a yeah. meat market here, you know. They did? Oh, yeah. Oh, they had a good flourishing business, too. Uh-huh. And 
it was deer meat, and I used, we used to take it up there to them, the, what you, the part that you'd grind up for hamburger, right, yeah, you know. Yeah, right, you couldn't get steaks out of it, or you couldn't get Oh, yeah, get we got steaks and that, but we did some for hamburger, too. Right, hamburger meat, and, yeah. and they used to put a piece of pork with it uh -huh. and grind it all up yeah, for us. Yeah. And was that ever a good hamburger? Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, that was good. Mm -hmm. We had the deep freeze then and we had it all packaged up, you know, and mm -hmm. put in the deep freeze in pounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I used to like the deer liver. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. liver is good. You did like liver, yeah? Oh yeah, yeah I like deer liver. Hmm. How did you cook deer liver? Fry it. With onions? Oh yeah, yeah. onions and that, and green peppers. and. Oh, yeah. You're going to have your mouth watering pretty soon. <laughs> oh, I'm not that hungry. I just got finished making a big pot of hamburger gumbo. Mm -hmm. I have to cook what he can eat because he can't chew everything. Mm -hmm. his, his teeth mm -hmm. are gone, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So I have to cook what yeah. he can chew. Yeah. yeah. So I put that together this morning for supper. Tell me a little bit about your childhood. You're from mm -hmm. Boston. Massachusetts. You remember that? Oh yeah. I was twelve years of age. And what was your maiden name, Agnes? What was your Gary. Gary. G A R Y or? G E A R Y. Real G Irish. Real Irish. You're yeah. Irish too. Yeah, Irish. Oh, well. English. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you grew up did you grow up near the coast? No, I, uh, I we lived in Bridgewater, Mass. Oh, okay. We we were about fifty miles from Plymouth. Uh -huh. We used to go go to Plymouth and go to the to the ocean. Oh yeah. Uh, you yeah. Could, and when you're coming in on the bus, you could just see the ocean rolling in. Oh yeah. It's just beautiful. That blue. Oh, just beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And so clean. Yeah. And the sand, the sand, you could you could sit on the sand in a in a white silk dress and get up just as clean as when you sat down. Isn't it was that? so clean. Yeah. Did you swim there? Oh yeah, we used to go and bathe in and yeah. that. Mm -hmm. Never did much swimming because I couldn't swim anyway. Oh, you never swam? No, I couldn't swim. Oh. Would you like a cup of coffee? I sure would. Thanks, yeah. Just have one Wes? Who was your favorite Indian man that you knew? Hmm? What was your best friend or best your favorite Indian that you knew? Can you name the guy? Did you have one that you could name? But I never had a bit of trouble with anybody much yeah. in my life. Them Indians, the Indians is one of the greatest race of people that ever come through this country. If you wanted to live, they'd see you lived. They'd go out and, and dig, what do they call them, worms around the rock. About that long, what the hell are they? Grubs? Yeah, kind of a grub like, but that they didn't call them that. And boy, they were good eating too. They were. What did you fry them? Hmm? Did you fry them? Yeah, sure. Just fried them like beans? Yeah. Yeah. In the rocks. They were in the rocks. Hmm. Do you say these grubs were in the rocks? These worms were in the rocks. Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Oh, I'm kind of curious about that. I wonder what kind hmm? they were. I wonder what kind of worms they were. Oh, what was the big big deal when I ate, you know? Uh-huh. Hmm. I know they dug wild onions. Yeah. The Indians they could they find wild onions. onions. Yeah. And there was something called a wild potato, Agnes. Oh, yeah. They dug that. What the hell was that? Huh. My gosh, I don't know what. But you could live here with my uncle went up through here in 1980. He built a cabin right over there next to the highway straight over there. Mm -hmm. But he, he, he left a lot of stuff there and then he went north. He had a pony, a little pony, and he took it with him. He, he packed the packs and it was company for them. And he brought, after he made her up there, he made himself a million up there. So he was only in there about, I guess, about eight months or something from when he left and he was back in Seattle, a, a millionaire. Did you take sugar and cream in your coffee? Mm -hmm. Thanks, Agnes. I'll give you a spoon. Just wait a minute. Okay, okay. I better fix this for you. Okay, okay. 
What were the name of the Indians that lived in here? What what uh, tribe were they, or what was their name? I don't know what tribe was it. Uh, I don't know. They, there, were, there were two tribes of Indians in here. And the sugar is here. What was it? Malamates? Or Malamates? What the hell? No, it comes out through there. Just, just pour it out. No, just come... Just pour it out through here. Pour it in These newfangled contraptions here. Something that Linda got me. Yeah. What's I'll bet she was at a Tupperware. Right? Likely. You know what? It is Tupperware. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what she got it. I, don't know if there's enough sugar I heard there. they were Salish. Hmm? I heard they were Salish. Interior Salish. They called them the Salish Indians. Salish. Do you, do you know that name? S-A-L-I-S-H. Salish. That's what I heard anyway. I could be wrong. Well, no, I've got off the track. What? They were the Indians that lived oh, here. Oh, the Indians. I heard they were Salish. Oh. Yeah. Well, of course, they, they sailed. They were on the coast there. They had their sailors who... The Indian and the Indians are a great race of people, you know that. That's right. The finest in the world. I've known some really nice Indians. Yeah. Yeah. I bet I never I never heard tell of anybody ever starving and be visiting where there was any Indians. Mm -hmm. They'd bring them food. Agnes, did you ever dig clams? Oh, yeah. Did you? Yeah, in the States. Yeah? In Massachusetts? Yeah, on the seashore. That's some of the most fun I've ever had, digging clams. And they, they, the clams know when you're coming oh, after them. They, There's a little they, squirt. Yeah, and they go down. Sure they do. Oh, they're smart. They sure know. That's oh, fun. Yeah. You're walking along, you know, you probably dug clams. I saw people, uh, Chinese people. Chinaman yeah. at, at White Rock yeah. digging clams. He went out when the, when the tide was gone out, mm -hmm. went way out there and dug clams. Mm -hmm. And then, then they used to get in before the tide would come in again. And they had a great big sack full of clams, mm -hmm. a couple of sacks of a, a lug of them. Do you remember horse clams? No. Gooey duck? Gooey duck? No? You never got those, huh? Not that I know. Uh -huh. Aren't you going to have a cup of coffee? No, uh, not me. Hmm. One cup of coffee a day is enough for me. Oh, yeah. How is the coffee, all right? Mm -hmm. It'll float a spoon. Is it too, too strong? <laughs> it's good coffee. It'll float a spoon. <laughs> it's too strong? No, it's okay. <clears throat> Did you ever experience any... Uh, of those storms, those Atlantic storms coming in oh, on the coast there? Well, they, they never, never bothered us in Bridgewater. Mass. You were in interior. We were inland. Yeah, yeah. What did your dad do? What was he? Well, oh. he used to work in the shoe shop. He was a shoemaker. Yeah, but he, he got sick mm -hmm. from working in the shoe shop. He got all that dust. That was before they had, had it so that you didn't get the dust, you know. Yeah. And, and it was an old factory. Oh, yeah. And he got all that dust in his lungs and he got TV. Oh, gee. He had to go to the sanitarium. Yeah. Mom, mom divorced him because she couldn't, well, it was non-support. Mm. She, she had the two kids, my sister and I, and she had us to bring out mm -hmm. and work for her. She went to work in the shoe shop for a while. Mm -hmm. But she didn't stay there very long. It wasn't very healthy. Mm -hmm. Then w uh, did she marry again? Oh yeah, she married my dad when she came to Canada. He oh came, yeah, he came to Canada. Oh yeah. I, I came when I was twelve years of age. Uh huh. What did your your uh, your uh, father do then? Well, he, he he was he was in the sanatorium and in in, my, my in Massachusetts. Oh, um, but I mean the new one, the second father. Oh he, well he used to run a garage. Oh, he was a mechanic. Yeah, he was a mechanic. Uh huh. Where was that at? On the prairies in Hatton, Saskatchewan. Hatton, oh. Yeah. We lived in Melville for a while. Mm -hmm. My mother worked in my uncle's store, mm -hmm. grocery store, until he got burnt out. Mm. 
we got to our house there and, and we couldn't have, well, we, we could have lost our lives at the dam. The smoke and the fire was coming right up between the walls and oh, we lived up yeah. above the store. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was a dead winter mm -hmm. when we got burned out. You may remember that. Oh huh? boy, we my sister and I were both sick in bed with the flu. Ooh. We had to run out in our bare feet, yeah. out and down the stairs, and we uh, ended up at a neighbor's place. Oh yeah. And Did you lose everything then? The fire oh just God, took everything. We every lost a lot of stuff from water. Oh, it didn't from the burn down. It, it as soon as they would put the water on on the building, it run down and froze. It was so cold out. Mm hmm But we lost a lot of stuff in that fire. But you built another store. No, he no? he built he 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 fixed that all up again after. Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah it yeah. didn't burn down. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it didn't burn down. It was in between the the walls. Oh, you know. the fire went up through there. Yeah, they probably put their fire hoses right down between the walls. I don't know what they did, but it was froze as soon as they put it on there. Yeah, that is cold. It was really cold. Melville is a cold place, you know. Yeah. I don't like Melville. I never had no happy memories of Melville. Mm -hmm. What were some of your happy memories? Where were you happiest? Well, when Dad, we we come, Mom come to keep house for for Dad uh -huh. before he was our dad, and, and he bought me a horse. <coughs> oh yeah. And yeah. a saddle. Yeah. And and, and a, a big ton of hay. Uh huh. To go. To, to go keep him over the winter. To keep the horse. Yeah. Because he knew I liked riding horseback. Mm -hmm. He bought this horse for me. What was the horse's name? What did you name him? Well, I, it had a name already, Nellie. Nellie? Oh, it was a mare. Yeah. Uh huh. Nice little horse it was. What do you, uh, can you remember some of your adventures with Nellie? I'll bet you had fun with her. Well, she was a, she had been mistreated mm -hmm. by a, by those, they used to race her. She was so fast. In, in her younger days, she was so fast that they used to chase coyotes with her. Oh, really? Shoot from her back. Yeah. And, 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 yeah. and collect the pelts run, and run, run, run coyotes down. Yeah. On the prairie. Boy, that is fast. She was a fast horse. Yeah. Was she pretty speedy yet when you got her? Oh, she was getting old when right. I had her. She she could still go, you know, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. she was getting old. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, I left her on the prairies when we come. Mum, mum married dad, and finally he thought, well, he couldn't make a living on the prairies. It was a hungry thirties, yeah, yeah. and the, all the farmers were going back to the horses again. They couldn't afford to run their, their tractors. They couldn't mm -hmm. afford to buy gasoline. Mm -hmm. So that left dad out. He, yeah. So he sold the business, mm -hmm. and we come to Vancouver. Mm -hmm. We came all the way by, by on this truck. Mm -hmm. The furniture and, and everything. Uh, we didn't have a, a very good, we had a good trip all right, it was, it was a lovely trip, but when we landed in Lytton, Dad had to overhaul the, the motor of his, of his truck, you know, and we mm -hmm. stayed at this auto court, and Dad was running low of cash. Yeah, right, so he had to get some work, huh? Well, he, he, we, we were going on to Vancouver, and uh, we owed the guy $20 for the for the staying in, in the auto camp, you know, we stayed there about two weeks while he overhauled his motor. And Dad didn't have the money to pay him. He just had enough money to get to Vancouver on, you know, mm -hmm. buy gas for the truck and, and everything. And uh, we left the furniture there. The guy said, you can leave the furniture for, for the $20, just leave it. And then when you send me the $20, I'll send you the furniture. But that didn't work out. We sent him the twenty dollars, and he refused to take it. He took the furniture instead. He was a dirty guy. All brand new furniture it was. So Mum lost her sewing machine, and she lost a big wardrobe with the mirrors in it, you know, and all the front room furniture, all the dining room furniture. Mm. He he got his money's worth all right. Mm. So we wrote to the priest in in Lytton. And told, he told him, him about it, yeah. and he said he couldn't do anything about it. You didn't have the a priest, written agreement, huh? No. The priest 
priest never did nothing about it. Oh. We lost everything. Yeah, just a person about, just about killed mom. A person needs a written agreement, so you All have something. All we had was part of the stove with us. Oh. We didn't have the top part of the stove. We oh, just, just had the bottom, bottom yeah, part. Yeah. Not we didn't even have have the legs to sit on. And Dad had to make legs out of wood. Right. Wooden so frame that. and set the stove on the wooden frame. Yeah. We had to we had to keep warm. We had to burn wood. Mm -hmm. In Vancouver, we we rented a house for ten dollars a month. Mm -hmm. And Dad went to work selling wood, which he never made much money on. And Dad had only one arm. Mm -hmm. It was one arm and one eye. Did he have an automobile accident or something? Or? No, he got it cut off at a sawmill in Fernie. Oh. His arm went right down with the, with the wood, and he never seen it again. Cut it right clean off. That's a sad experience. His dad had a hard time making a living. So let's get back to your horse. What was the most fun you did with your horse? Did you go camping? Or? No, I used to go riding. Did you go a long ways? Oh, yeah. I used to go with, with another girl. Mm -hmm. Two of, mostly all the girls there had mm -hmm. a horse. Yeah, so you had, had sort of a, uh, a gang. A gang of horses, right? Yeah. But I used to go with this Margaret. Oh, what was her last name now? Oh gee, I can't think of her last name now. Mm -hmm. And I used to go with her mm -hmm. out to her ranch, out mm -hmm. to the ranch. Mm -hmm. and used to spend two or three weeks out at the ranch in the holidays. Oh, I bet that. Which was a, a nice experience. I bet you, yeah, yeah. They had a, they had a sheep ranch. Oh yeah. They yeah. they run sheep. Uh huh. And we used to have to go every day on horseback and and ride the fence to see that there was no holes through the fence. Yeah, because the, the sheep will sneak on out. The on the other side, and they mm -hmm. used to get into the sheep, and the sheep used to get into the cattle. And then what? We used to have to ride and... And, and, and sort them out? Sort them out. Yeah, and yeah. They didn't hurt each other. No, they didn't hurt no. each other, but they weren't supposed to be on that land. Yeah. Sheep eat everything quite fine, you know. Right, right down to the roots. That's yeah. why the cattlemen don't like them. And I know they don't like them, but that's what they used to have, the sheep. Yeah. And... Uh, I used to ride one of their horses sometimes, and sometimes I'd ride Nellie. But Mr. S oh, what was his name? He claimed anyway, her father, Margaret's father, claimed that <coughs> Nellie, in, in, in her younger days, had had a, another horse, uh, a mate, you know, a, a horse, another mate. And we used to have a team oh. uh, of them. This, I don't know who it was that had the team. and. No, and Margaret's father had appendicitis, mm -hmm. and his appendix, and he claimed that Nellie and her mate took him to the hospital. All by themselves. And saved, saved his life, oh, yeah. though this man drove yeah. him oh, and yeah. took, took, this yeah. took Margaret's father along with him and took him to the hospital. And, and he said that she, Nellie had saved his life, because mm -hmm. if, if they hadn't gotten to the hospital, they would have broke. Yeah, they, really right. died. they couldn't do anything in those days if it broke. No. They didn't have the uh, medicines we do now. Yeah. No. If it burst, that was it. You yeah. know, you got, you were dead. So he, when I left the prairies, he took Nellie and turned her out with his horses to pasture. Mm. He said she can have. She'll spend her rest of her days. In, in peace. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Odin's, Alan Odin's mother and dad wanted to buy her from me for the milk food. You know, oh yeah, I for a thought, cart, yeah. I thought she's done enough all her That's life. That's right, yeah. She needs a rest. Right, the poor right. Thing. Yeah. I don't want to put her on the milk route. Mm -hmm. So I, I took her out there and turned her loose. Really. That was good of you. Well, That's that too, I too many good horses. I should have turned her loose in the herd that she came from, though. You think so? Yeah, yeah. because those horses were mean to her. Oh, the new horses. The horses out there that... that that Margaret's father had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were mean to her. She was a newcomer. Yeah, and they kicked her and kicked her, and I should have, I should have known better than to leave her out there. Mm. Was she a small horse? Yeah, or? she was a small one. Yeah, yeah. They often little pick small feet. And yeah, they often pick on the small ones. Don't she they? was, she was a beautiful little horse. And mm. In her day, she had had a curly mane. Oh yeah. All curls, and her tail yeah. was curly. Yeah. 
She, That's unusual, isn't she it? She had been a beautiful horse. Mm -hmm. Did she ever have any young? I don't know. She never had a cold or, or anything. I don't know. Yeah. But she had been a, a lovely horse. Mm -hmm. I should have turned her loose with her, but she, from the herd that she came with, they were used to her, and, and they were good. They weren't far away either, I suppose. You could have no, well, just as easy taken her to one place as the other. Oh, yeah. They were... Right, Mr. Wiggy, Wiggy that owned owned them that Dad bought the horse from. Mm -hmm. He used to go out and herd all his horses into town to the to the water and trough, mm -hmm. you know, to, to get some water mm -hmm. and then turn them out to pasture again. Mm -hmm. But they 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 didn't have a good living because the 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 uh, hay on the prairies wasn't the grass wasn't what it should have been, it was all laid off, you know, and, but Nellie, Nellie was a fence jumper. Uh-oh. <laughs> she used to jump the yeah, fence. Yeah, yeah. And when she was older, she'd go through the fence. She would. Crawl yeah. underneath. Go through the middle part of the fence. Oh, yeah. And she'd go into the other people's property where they were growing grain. Oh, oh. And she'd eat. Yeah. She would eat, regardless of whether the rest of them ate or not. Yeah. And I know... One time, a man came, uh, one of the farmers came in and said to my dad, you better go get your probate, he said. <laughs> uh, or I'll use her for probate, yeah, he said. Yeah. She, she's in my, in my field, he said. Eating wheat or something. Eat, eating, eating my grain. Yeah. So mm. I had to go out and get her. Mm -hmm. she Did she look guilty? No. Did she know she was doing she wrong? She didn't care. Oh. I don't blame her neither. She had to get something to eat. Yeah. And Dad didn't buy no more hay, and he just left her roam on the prairies, mm -hmm. and, which wasn't so very good, you know, but he couldn't afford to buy hay, because Mr. Wiggy was using the hay for his horse, too, mm -hmm. and, and he didn't care how much he used of it, neither, because somebody else bought it, so we didn't keep her in, in, in the, the barn very long. She was used to it outdoors, anyway. She lived all, all year round. Oh, yeah. Which is a hard life for a horse, you know. It probably ages them faster, huh? Yeah, poor thing. Because uh, in the winter, the tough cold. But then, then Mar Margaret wrote me that, that Nellie had died. She How old did she live? Oh, she was must have been 22 or... Well, she had a long life, huh? Something like that. She How many years was she retired like that? Oh, just about two or three years. Two or three, yeah. Do you remember the horses out here west, They're on the way north to uh, oh. Merritt? Those two gray horses there. Oh. They stood in that field on the left side across from <coughs> the turkey farm out there. Oh yeah, I know. Remember the, the two? I know the turkey. They were always there together. I don't remember the horses. Oh though. yeah, they would move around during the day. They'd be in the sun in the winter. They'd always stay where the sun was. In the first time days when I was here and first married. There used to be a big herd of horses uh, on the flats here. They used to come down in the winter time, and they'd, they'd go into your yard and, and they'd eat anything that was there and make a, a Mess. heck of a t racket, oh, yeah. stomping and, yeah. and, and snorting and everything, you know. And I, I can remember getting up and putting my bathrobe on and going out and chasing them away. Mm -hmm. I can remember that in the middle of night. I couldn't sleep. They made such a racket. And they were always in the yard. Mm -hmm. the when yard. would that have been? What about what year? Oh, I don't know. Were they people's horses? Oh yeah, they, they just turned them out. Just turned them loose yeah, for the winter yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. They could go wherever they wanted to go. So they'd eat your flowers. Yeah, sure. They'd eat anything. The bushes. And your lilacs. And there was a herd, herd of, of cows too. They were running free too. They were running free too. They they put a stop to all of that. Thank God for that. Yeah. 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 I know they got in here once, and they they made great big holes in the lawn with their feet. They sunk mm. way down in the lawn. Heavy yeah. animals. Yeah, big, made heavy, big holes yeah, yeah. in the lawn. Yeah, that's interesting. You did see some of this when it wasn't fenced. Oh, this whole yeah. area was free range, you might say, huh? Yeah, well, there's a few ho there were a few houses on it, but there's lots more now. Mm, for sure, yeah. There's hardly a vacant lot. No, I know that. Yeah, there's hardly a vacant lot on the flats here. Well. It sure has grown up since I've been here. Mm -hmm. So you would say that that was one of your fondest recollections, the uh, the horse, Nellie. Yeah. 
I'll bet she was inseparable. Wes, what did you just say? What did you say about this machine? Well, they're talking back to me like that, I'd throw it out. <laughs> That'd be like this? BJ talking this back is, to you, huh? This is a butterfly that my oh, daughter brought me from oh, Mexico. Gee. Abalone. Pretty, isn't it? That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. That's yeah, abalone and silver. Yeah, abalone and silver. Yeah, that's a gorgeous piece there. She went out on you again, Wes. Hmm? The pipe went out. Oh, it's man. gone. It's out. Oh, well, I, I would just go to stick a match in it now, oh, if you don't mind. <laughs> you know the reason I started smoking? To keep the, the bugs, flies. the flies, yeah. When did you start smoking? I'll bet you weren't more than 10 years old. Oh, hell yes, I was 24 anyway. You were? Oh. You never smoked back in the Maritimes? No. You didn't smoke back there in Nova Scotia? Yeah. Linda didn't, didn't care much for the Brunswick. Why? She said, I don't know, she said it was flat, she did not much scenery. Oh, yeah. She liked Nova Scotia better. Mm hmm. She said Nova Scotia was beautiful. Well, I think uh, that that's one of the places I've got to get to. I think the Maritimes would be a place to visit. No, she, they went and seen Wes's brother when they were there. Oh, yeah. How's he doing? He's doing fine, and, and he was so pleased. To see, that somebody did, came, yeah. That, that Linda came, because he yeah. said, I never thought I'd, I'd ever see Linda. He said, yeah. because he's, he's about 80, 89. Oh, yeah. He's pretty old. And he says, I never thought that I would, I would be that lucky that I would see Linda, Linda, he said, but I've seen her now. Isn't that mm -hmm. wonderful? That is. He was sure surprised and pleased that they went and seen him. He lives in Queens County, It's nice. Castle Bridge. It's nice when young people think enough to go back and see people yeah, like that. She, yeah, they dropped in and seen Alfred. Yeah, it and really he is. asking all about us, you know, and that mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. He lives in... in, in Queens County, New Brunswick. What's his name? Newcastle Bridge. What's his name? Alfred Young. Oh. Did you and Alfred ever do any logging together? No, you bet we did. You and Alfred? Yeah. 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 That, yeah but he never came I west. I the founder of Young Brothers. One of the oldest firms that's been going steady for over 74 years. No. I, uh, I got that from the banker. He he got interested in it, so I got talking to him. Yeah, yeah. But I gosh, boy, he dug her up. He found that information out, yeah. But he went, when he went back, when he... He got Matt and my... Well, our lives went. From we left back there, we landed here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I guess it's a pretty high life at places. <laughs> <laughs> you told me some of that before. Mm -hmm. You were you were in the southern United States? Yeah. And you got in trouble in Minnesota? <laughs> yeah, you told me about that. Oh good. <laughs> yeah. Couple of Canadian loggers came down there and showed him a thing or two, huh? Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to label this.
we were just playing a little bit of uh, Myers Waz interview with me about uh, a year ago, May 20th of 85. And, uh, and now Agnes is going to tell me something here. Well, we took this, this carrot pie out to Mrs. Waugh. Myers, That's Meyer's mom. Mrs. Waugh, yeah, Meyer's Waugh's Meyer mother. Uh-huh. And when they were living out... In Europe. Well, they lived out there someplace near the old sawmill that used to be out there. Okay, yeah. And Meyer's liked the pie. He sure ate it. The whole pie? Not, I don't know, I can't remember. If he, uh, he sure made a big hole in it anyway. He had two or three pieces of it. It was carrot pie. I have never heard of a recipe for carrot pie. Yeah, I don't yeah. know where my recipe is going huh. to now, but you mash the carrots up, you cook them and you mash them up. You put Just them like through, potatoes, huh? Put them through a sieve like, you know, yeah, yeah. and like pumpkin, uh -huh. and you just go ahead and make it up just like a pumpkin pie. Oh yeah, and it's it, pretty good. And it's, it's really good. I used to make a lot of them. I'll bet that'd be good with uh, vanilla ice cream. Yeah. Carrot good, pie with, and with, vanilla with, ice cream. Uh, whipping cream on it. Yeah, yeah be good. Yeah. I think you like to cook. No, I don't. I, I'm, my cooking days are over. No, but you used to. Oh, I used to cook all the mm. time. You know, I, I never knew that there was anything like zucchini bread. Can you well, I never it? knew that neither. When I came here, I, I found people making zucchini bread. Oh. Never even dawned on me you could use squash. Half of that stuff is coming out of your pipe, Wes. Huh? Oh, don't waste the deep backing. Well, why don't you put it in your pipe instead of letting it hang no, down? I did put it in you there. It you someone your, pulled it out. Look at that. Look at the tobacco all over your pants. Well, that's everything. good for them. Keeps the bugs off the pants. <laughs> i got to sweep that mess up. My God, it's uh -huh. a mess. <laughs> How much tobacco does he go through oh, in a week? Oh, God, he goes through enough, I'm telling you. Yeah. Matches, too. Yeah. I know where I have to sweep it up off the floor. Mm. He spills more of it than he uses, I think. <laughs> I'm the most abused guy in this country. I don't think so. I, I can't. Uh, I can't agree with you. <laughs> yes, sir. You bawled me out by you. You know, I was responsible for everything in here for the last 50 years, anyway. Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Highways, I don't think he's abused, Agnes. <laughs> the damned hospital went upside down or something. Call Wes. Yeah, you were in charge, huh? And call Wes. Yeah. Well, they yeah, got along without you now for quite a few years. <laughs> the fishing game for the other night. They anything. did. And they want Wes to do some wanting us to do some work for them or do something for them anyway. I don't know what. Wes used to take fish up to the lakes, you know. Yeah. And I said, no, no more. I said, Wes is 92 in November. I said, he's too old to do anything like that anymore. Oh, they said, we never realized. Oh, yeah, I never realized. Is that good. right? He's got, got a lifelong membership in the... in the. Yeah, has he got a plaque? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you belong to it for a while? No, I didn't belong to it. We mm -hmm. used to go to their banquets. Mm -hmm. we used to cook for it. Those uh, game meals. Yeah, like game when, meals. Yeah. Like cooked yeah. scallop potatoes and baked beans and good God. Boy, and you pies. got the right one for baked beans. And pies and pies and, yeah. and um, raisin pies. Oh, yeah. Did you make a good raisin oh, pie? Oh, I guess I did. <laughs> uh, Danny O'Sullivan and his father used to always get my get a piece of my raisin pie when they mm -hmm. were at the mm -hmm. game and mm -hmm. they said jeez are these ever good raisin pies and may says yes i know she says my sister made them mm -hmm. yeah oh, i used to make a lot of stuff i don't do it anymore it's too much i've got an idea they may have wanted uh wes to just tell him a little bit about when he was I in the fishing game hmm. who called you know i don't know who called hmm. I think it was a man that called. Mm -hmm. We lost uh, a good uh, good member of the club, Bud hmm? DeWolf. Hmm? Bud DeWolf is gone. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, but, he's gone. You know, Bud, Bud is gone. Bud DeWolf. Bud DeWolf. The manager of the Overweighty, the guy that used to work in the Overweighty. Yeah, he oh, passed away. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was a sad day. 
That's too bad. He wasn't yeah. that old either. Helen's gone down the coast now. She oh, she moved down the coast, wife. sold the house, and left. Yeah. Mm. That was that was very nice. She came over and she gave Carl all of Bud's archery stuff, bows and arrows oh, and yeah. stuff like that. That's your son. Yeah, that's my son, and he loves archery. Hmm? If you see a kid running around here with a bow and arrow, it's probably my son. He loves archery. He, he really enjoys it. Yeah. Yeah, as long as it's not too dangerous, you know, you can yeah. shoot people with those yeah. darn arrows. Yeah. Yeah, it can be too dangerous. But they got the right person for you getting back to that banquet when they had you making beans, oh, baked well, beans. Oh, I made a big pot of baked beans. We used to take it over and. It was all hot when we took it mm -hmm, over. Mm -hmm. Scott potatoes and mm -hmm. big dishes. Scott. How potatoes. many people would be there? Oh gosh. Hundreds, huh? About, about seventy-five or a hundred or yeah, something like that. Yeah, anyway. yeah. Where'd you have it at the Legion? No, we had it at one of the halls, one of the one of the church halls. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably the United Church. Big, big. Yes, it would be the United Church. Yeah, that hall. Yeah. It was a, it was a great big. Uh, bunch of people there and mm -hmm. they sh the food was sure gone. We got <laughs> an empty dish back. Yeah. We used to try to get May and I, that's my sister, yeah. she used to bake for it too because she used to <coughs> be secretary of it. Mm -hmm. What West, was her last and name? And Wes was president. You were president of the Fish and Game? Yeah. Oh God. For Guess years. what? I'm first vice president. Mm -hmm. I'm first vice president of the Fish and Game. Oh, yeah. yeah, Peter Antnick. You know the Antnicks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Peter Antnick is for, uh, president. Yeah. 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 So, to, uh, day after tomorrow, I'm going to put on a fly tying demonstration with another pal of mine. We're going to show them how to make fishing flies down at uh, game meeting. Yeah, yeah. Well, Wes used to make them too. Yeah, he tied them too, huh? He used to make them. Hmm. Gee, I'd like to have seen some of his. Oh, he'd give them all away. Oh. He gave he some to all, Linda he too. Gave them huh? all to Linda. We yeah. had a big box like this yeah. of fishing equipment. Uh huh. A great big tin box. And yeah. he, he gave that to Linda. Uh -huh. She's got the whole thing. Uh -huh. Oh well. She'll he enjoy Linda it. His rifle. She'll enjoy it. Well, I don't know. She never never they never go fishing. Uh -huh. Oh, they haven't got time. They're uh -huh. too busy making a living. Bob has got his office at home. He sells insurance and and advises people on business affairs. Mm -hmm. What does Linda and do? sells bonds. Yeah. And he makes pretty good money too because he can take a, another, he, he just went to Florida just the other day. For nine, for 10 days he went to Florida to golf. Hmm. I said, Jesus, he must be making money. May says, oh yeah, he's making money, she said. And he's spending it too, she said. <laughs> yeah. Well, Maybe. Linda, Linda works in the credit union. Oh. Maybe he knows something we don't. Oh, he's smart. Yeah. Maybe we should spend our money. <laughs> well, he's really smart. Bob yeah. is yeah. a smart guy. Yeah. Set it up here. What was your best meal that you cooked? Uh, like, what was the best meat at the to the banquet that you'd have? Like, uh, I don't think they had... Any wild meat? Any meat, anyway. I never, never heard of them having any meat. If they had anything, they had a piece of deer. Do you know what they have now at those banquets? They have deer, elk, moose, caribou. Where do they get it all? Are the hunters that go out from here to different places? They bring it back, and they bring enough for you know. So there's a platter of it. Mm -hmm. uh, they even have cougar. Oh my god! <laughs> and beaver. Oh no! Yeah. I don't think I like that. Yeah, they have all kinds of wild game. <laughs> no deer and moose is a closest I'd get to eating mm -hmm. wild meat. I don't even like bear. Mm -hmm. I couldn't stomach bear. Oh, I've had some good bear. Yeah, I've had good bear meat. Yeah. Bear did, you, meat. did you take all the matches out of the match box? I sure did. Do you need more matches? <laughs> no. no. You lit them all. I did not. I bet you. They must have been. Look that. Got a match in it. Nothing in it. Nothing in it. This is a bad corner here. I've been robbed here a long time. <laughs> I'm not smoking. Hmm? I'm not smoking. Well, in your pocket, <laughs> <laughs> no. no, Wes. No. Did you ever smoke anything you found in the woods? Like you got desperate and you couldn't, you, you ran out of tobacco? Oh, that, 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 that,
You could smoke like uh, it's empty. some. Uh, what they smoke? It was called uh, Labrador. No, that was Labrador tea. Kinnikinnick. Been, the Indians were, were smoking kinnikinnick. It's kinnic. been raining out or something. No, it's melting. Well, that's funny. It's coming off the roof. It's right. real warm out there. Yeah. Really warm. It's a nice day out today. Yeah, I should get out there. It's really nice. Do something. They broke our gate. Who, the kids? Oh, no, I guess the, the Johnny O'Rourke, he slammed it the other, other time when he was here with the garbage. Oh, I They're see. They're not careful of it anyway. Oh, oh. And the whole top thing, that the hinge, yeah. you know, at the top it came loose, yeah. it's off. Can I fix it for you? I don't know if you can fix it or not. You want me to fix your gate? You got any tools around here? You got any tools around here? Out in the shed is all the tools. I'll fix it for you if you got any screws or screwdrivers and stuff. Yeah, I don't know if you, yeah. how you can fix it. It's, it's, it's okay, what's that again? You said your mother did what? Took the first well, census. First census taken in Canada, my mother. In Nova Scotia. In New Brunswick. In New, New Brunswick. Brunswick. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Nineteen hey. eleven. I don't know, 18 or something like that. Is that right? I went back there, I went back and they saw the plate. I just wanted to see Mother uh -huh. again. There she was with a bunch of kids, you know, just getting their names. <laughs> you thought they had 12 kids. You know, that's a pretty hard place for a woodworker to find anything. That uh, out there. That's all mechanics. Mechanic. It's, all, it's all tools out there, isn't Mechanics, it? Mechanics, yeah. And he said I gave us tools all the way. No, they're all there, I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, they're all there. But so. you were a machinist, or you were a, you were a metal worker. You worked with metal. Mechanic. Yeah. yeah. And I, my major area is wood. Hmm. I work with wood. But I do work with a little metal. But no. Oh, that belt, that webbing there that I put on, that'll hold up for a long time. They slam it shut when mm -hmm. they go out. They're not careful. Yeah, yeah. I don't know so. who else breaks it. Johnny is the only one that comes in through there. When I was um, in the garage, I saw a nice set of antlers. Yeah. Who did, did Wes get those? Yeah, you should hang them up in the house. Oh, they look nice. I, 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 they took them down when they painted. Oh, yeah. In the front room when they painted. Yeah. And I've never... I, I've never put them back up again. I, I don't want them in there. Hang them right by the back door and a guy to have a place to put his hat. Hang his hat up when he comes in. Hang it in that hallway out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Or in a guy to have a place to put a hat. I can get Dave to put them up this yeah, summer. Yeah. When he comes up yeah. to do the lawns and that. Mm -hmm. Well, I suppose I really ought to roll along. Huh? I should run along, I suppose, because I've... I've Burned your ear long enough? <laughs> yeah, as you see, you're not going to get on to eat here, so you move, eh? No, no, that wasn't it. Look at, I'm not starving. Huh? I'm not starving. Do you do your own cooking? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, sure. Cooking for your boy, too. Yeah, and he cooks pretty well, too. Does he? Carl cooks. He's 14 now. Oh. Yeah. My, my daughter's boy is 15. Yeah. Does he do some cooking for no. himself? Well, I don't know whether he does cooking for himself or not. I know when I phoned there one night, he was alone. Mm -hmm. Bob was down in the basement. Bob was in his office. Mm -hmm. But Linda was out to a banquet. And he says, I'm just finishing up my supper, Grandma. He said, oh, I said, I'll let you go then. I don't know whether he got him himself or, or not. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I never asked him. Mm -hmm. Maybe his mother got it for him before she went. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's Michael and Todd, both of them, two, two youngsters, mm -hmm. two grandchildren. They're lovely boys, too. Well, probably have nice parents. They got good parents. Good parents, yeah. yeah. That's usually what happens. The mm -hmm. parents determine what the kids are going to be like. I didn't and hear what you said yet. The parents determine what the kids are going to be like. Oh. Don't they? Mm -hmm. Pretty well. They're chips off the old block. Yeah, well, Linda and Bob's, they... Todd belongs to the hockey club.